This program is designed to provide general information with regards to the subject matters covered. This information is given with the understanding that neither the hosts, guests, sponsors, or station are engaged in rendering any specific and personal, medical, financial, legal, counseling, professional service, or any advice. You should seek the services of competent professionals before applying or trying any suggested ideas. Hi there, this is Brian Sebastian, Movie Reviews and More. Hey, it's the first show of the year, and I've been waiting for this show because not only are we live again on K4HD and Talk 4 Media, Radio, TV, and Podcasting around the world, 220 stations, there she is. Uh, <laughs> so it's so sorry. Fun. It's always <laughs> fun to have our friends and our fellow co-hosts on. So, out of Texas, the one and only Miss Custom Trends herself, Trixie Jen. Hey, how's it going? Was from Redondo Beach, <laughs> nonstop Terry Marie. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year's. And our one and only, got to say this correctly, she's an actress, model, TV host, co-host of Movie Reviews and More, when we can get her, because she's so darn busy, <laughs> our fitness lover, sports lover, she loves, I love the fact that she loves to ice skate, uh, our tar heel for life. A former Miss <laughs> North Carolina USA winner, the one and only Crystal Cooney. Hello. Hi, Crystal. Tony, you got Hello. Tony. Tony. <laughs> hello. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Fantastic. Great. Great. Crystal, let's start off with you. All right. So you look good. I loved your hair. What have you been doing and what state are you in? Because you've been traveling a lot. I am in Los Angeles right now, in California, sorry, <laughs> state, you said. Um, and yeah, I was going out of town this weekend, and now I'm not, so I'll be here for at least a couple of weeks now, so yay. <laughs> and so what show are you working on right now? Because you've been, you, you I, I almost call you, and I really do, the hardest working actress out there, because you're, you're doing so many auditions and everything like that, and then you like, you booked them, but you're all over across the country. And that's not easy. Talk about how that happens for you right now. You know, it, it's 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 interesting. I just, um, I haven't, I'm on nothing now, on, starting in 2021 yet. I did do a week on a great show on Hulu um, right before the holidays um, called Love, Victor. If you haven't watched it, it's an amazing show. It's We just started shooting season two. Um, but as far as, Yes, I do audition a lot. Now, some some that don't know the industry would say, well, if you audition so much, why don't you book more? But I have, like I tell my family, it's like, it's when I'm not auditioning that you would, that you should start to, you know, feel concerned. Um, I have been very fortunate to have a new team in 20, 2020 that, you know, has gotten me a lot of opportunities. And while I haven't booked as much as I'd like, I've been getting the same people calling me in over and over again. So I know it's just a matter of time. Um, I have a great story, actually, a year and a half ago, I auditioned for a show. And right before I left the room, the casting director said, Crystal, I was like, yeah, he's like, I love your work. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, that's amazing. So I left, didn't hear a thing. And I was like, yeah, you love it so much. <laughs> a year and a, a year and four days later, I get a call. They want to, um, they're interested in direct booking me for something without even auditioning. And I had to send some, some footage to them. Well, they didn't end up booking, me, but it was a great lesson learned because my materials weren't fully up to date. And I know that's why I didn't book it. So now I've been um, furiously working, like making sure my reels were up to date and everything just really current um, since that email came through from, from my um, agent. So it was, although I didn't book that one, I know I'm on their radar. And it was a year and four days from the time that I'd been in the room. And I thought they were just talking and it's like, nope, you're on, you're on their mind. So um, yeah, so here I am just continuously auditioning and staying ready. And I've been in class the whole pandemic. I was still studying and just trying to stay ready, but I didn't work on my materials. And um, you know, I never know where you are when I'm calling and texting you. You know, you've been in te Tennessee. You've been in the what? 
uh, well, you, you were in Georgia. I think you were at Tyler Perry Studio or something like that. Uh, North Carolina. I never know where you are. That's why I call you and I catch you because yeah. I never know. Yeah. Over the pandemic, it was interesting. I didn't, I just stayed gone longer than normal. Like I didn't travel more. I definitely traveled less, but I would stay gone for a month or two or three. Whereas before I could never do that because I would be getting auditions in person. But with them being all virtual, I didn't have an issue. I could just audition from wherever I was. So that was really cool. Um, sorry. I live in the city. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Hey, talk about talk about um, the role that you played on The Rookie. Talk about that and a couple other things that you had. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I'm a nurse on The Rookie. It actually, uh, season three started on Sunday. And I uh, you got a quick glimpse of me in that episode. Um, just a nurse like i have a personality it's cute i'm like a fun upbeat loving nurse but um it's you know it's not a whole it's i've been in five episodes um hopefully more to come um not a lot i can say i'm just a nurse it was it was an easy role to book because my mom's a nurse and actually my mom was here and i was like mom i asked her a couple questions she's like oh yeah boom 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 so when i got on set the very first episode the director was like i mean you just nailed it like i saw you and i was like that's that's my nurse and i was like my mom kind of coached me on this one so um yeah but it's really fun it's a great show if you haven't watched that check it out season three started sunday and it's streaming now it's normally on abc mm -hmm. abc and um but you can also catch it streaming now if you haven't um watched the other seasons well you're also one of those those people where you book stuff, you've gotten stuff, you shot stuff, and it comes out when it comes out. Yeah, but you're always on to the next thing, and then there is that that mm -hmm. long lag. There's a uh, lag, yeah. Uh, but that, like right now, everybody's short of episodes of stuff. I'm caught up on, I think, almost all the stuff. And there's like, since the pandemic's done, there's not enough episodes to keep people happy. The positive thing for us actors is that means lots of residuals from old stuff that we've done before. That's over and over again. So that's been nice, actually, um, that residual income coming a little quicker because they had to play old episodes. Mm. <laughs> um, but as far as that, though, TV is usually much quicker. Um, I shot a film <clears throat> two summers ago, and it was like over a year before it came out. Um, the Banker, I don't know if you guys have checked that out, but that was very good, too. Um, the Rookie, the last episode, I just shot that in like November, and it already aired. So that was a pretty quick turnaround. So Trixie, talk about what's been going on with you because Crystal, Trixie is the one that creates all of our images and stuff like that. And it was actually put up in your bio. That's why I was asking. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, doing good. Just uh, waiting on the storm tomorrow. We have some really bad weather coming here to Houston tomorrow. So uh, just something, you know, that's going on besides weather. But as for me, I've got a, a show coming out uh, in March and I'm very happy that all my sponsorships went through and they gave me the green light and production and launch and this is something that I've wanted to do for like four years now and and now it's like you know I can finally do it you know because you know the big F word funding you know <laughs> and so like I finally got you know some great sponsors to fund this wonderful project and it's about sports and uh I'll be able to announce the name soon. The trailer will be coming out first thing March because that's when we begin filming. And I already have the storyline. Everything is already complete. It's already in the bag. We're ready to rock it. And so I'm just very happy about that. And nonstop, you just got back from Florida. What was happening? Because you needed to get out of that. Yeah, um, it, was, it was really bizarre to tell you the truth after you know being in kind of like lockdown because everything in florida has opened so it was um it was we went to a new year's eve party which we couldn't have gone to in la well i guess there were a lot of underground parties in la but i went to we were outside on a patio so i felt i felt pretty i felt safe because we're outside so, you know, and I've said this to you earlier today, I some I think that, you know, the lockdowns are kind of forcing more of the problem because people are having these underground parties. And I don't know, I'd, I'd much rather have been in Florida outside in something that was organized. Um, I, I felt safe, but I mean, every, all the restaurants, all the bars, everything's open, everything, nothing's closed. 
Yeah, well, that's Florida for you. That's what <laughs> so, but the, but it was the the weather was nice. It was nice to 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 get away, and it was nice to be able to eat in the restaurant. You know, you as I we mentioned before, you take things for granted that you know now you don't take these things for granted, like eating in a restaurant and you know spending time with your friends and that kind of stuff. So, um, but. I'm going to be training with my life trainer, Mustafa, starting this week. So getting ready for a year of fitness and being healthy and going on that rampage again. <laughs> so, um, When's the last time you got a chance to get on ice? You would think you might be able to get on ice, maybe by yourself, but you may not have had time either. Crystal, did you hear me? I, you know what? I realized there's a glitch. I need to put my phone on airplane mode. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but I don't. If I do that, is it because people are because I because you had me put my headphones on? It's reading my text messages to me. That's hilarious! <laughs> oh my gosh! And I'm afraid if I let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was like, I wouldn't oh want to know my text messages at all. <laughs> I would be like, oh my God. <laughs> it's not reading them oh to you guys, though, right? No, not at all. You're, you're, you're lucky. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, we're not seeing your messages. No, no, not at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Trixie, you're frozen right now. Talk about what do you know about sports? Anything going on in Texas right now? Oh, wow. There's actually a lot going on. And um, there's actually a, 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 all the gyms are open and stuff like that. So, and a lot of people are still doing boxing and MMA. And actually, a lot of the horse fields, the jockeys and the upcoming riders, they're, you know, now actually, I think uh, I forget the name of the track, but they're opening again. Everything's like back to back as usual. But I do hear all these wavelengths going around that, you know, we might be shut down again. So I don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. And so for the audience that doesn't know who you are, talk about what custom trends, what that means to you, how you started it, and those two beautiful awards to your left of you. Oh, well, uh, custom trends. I started this show. Um, Wow, 2011, and I started my first show, Trixie Chen After Hours, and uh, that was a really cool show on Houston Channel 55 here in Houston, and it was just a fun show where I was interviewing comedians and um, musicians in LA and in Vegas, and that's what got my start, and um, then I went, and then I started with Custom Trends, and then now, um, given all the opportunities, like with you, with movies and reviews, you just get me highly motivated to do more. And, and there was projects that I, I've been wanting to do for the past four years, like I mentioned. And um, it's a sporting show, as much as I can say now. And it's going to have a lot of, um, it's a possible series. But right now, I am officially able to do do two pilots on it, two episodes, and um, it's going to be an array of sport, sporting individuals, sporting athletes here in Houston, and um, also I'm going to have a segment for the disabled children that are in sports as well. So that is going to bring together everything. Oh, I just I almost said the title, but I cannot say the title of the show just yet, and I almost like ah. It is so awesome. It is. It's just amazing. I can't wait to hear it later. You know? <laughs> well, that's actually a good thing. Talk about your awards real quick, and then we'll go back to Crystal and then to Terry. Oh, and the awards is uh, I have a 2018 bronze uh, that I won for the inter for international media for my international specials, and then I have my latest one, which is the 2020 award, and um, it's for my Super Bowl 51 in Miami and it's a telly award and I won second place and we're they over I think it's to uh to telly award to this was the 41st annual so it's been around a long time <laughs> and so they've established a, a really awesome community of on awards and uh, they're in five continents and uh in this division that I was in it was uh over 12,000 entries of television shows globally, and I brought home second place. So to me, that was very amazing, and it was uh, really good stuff from the Super Bowl in Miami. 
So yeah. it was good. <laughs> Congratulations. Exactly. Yeah, that's you know, one thing really Yay. hard for you guys to do, and that's why I'm I'm proud and I'm honored to not only call you guys friends, but but co-hosts. And I'd love to have Crystal on more, but she is busy working on stuff. And I think I I always for us what everybody needs is inspiration uh, for what mm -hmm. everybody's doing because it is hard to do what we're doing. Crystal, no, I mean, Trixie, no one knows how hard you work behind the scenes putting all that stuff together. Um, oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> all of our pitches and they're, for, you know, fantastic. I couldn't do those, nor do I have the time, but you like to do those things. And Crystal, I can't I'm- wait to get out there again. <laughs> that's the thing. And then Crystal, I'm happy because again, that I don't think people really understand what that audition is, is like now, where you can't always be oh, in yeah. person and you're traveling cross country doing these auditions and you're like, you are you are really a working actress, but still there's certain things you still have to audition for. Talk to what that, that process is there's like. There's everything I have to audition for. <laughs> I have to audition <laughs> for everything. I, will, I got one as my first time and it, and it was didn't even go through that I didn't have to audition for something. So I'm, I am very fortunate, like I said, to get, you know, to, to be auditioning, but um, yeah, you're right. It's like you get, I, sometimes I get same day auditions, it could be pages, you know, several pages. Most times you get at least, you'll get it that night and you'll at least have till the next day to turn it in, but I might have five. Wow. Four, you know? So then it's like, okay, mm. I got to get this one done tonight. And then so I can move to this one, you know, then you have to manage your time. Um, so, and they don't care like and you can't make any excuses because everyone gets it at the same time pretty much so mm -hmm. it's like you don't get it done that's fine somebody else is going to get it done and they're going to be up look and they're going to have it you know what i mean so you just and you know for me it's been the pandemic has been i mean somewhat of a blessing because i'm not doing like any other you know odd jobs that i do also, I've just been able to focus more and zone in and like I get an audition, it's like, boom, get it done. Focus. It's, it's gotten me a lot more focused. It's taught me to manage my time more um, or, or not more, but better. I've always been pretty good at it, but, you know, it's, it's allowed me to just be able to really, really focus on what I love. And, you know, I, I don't even know what question you really asked me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and Terry, think about this. The four of us can actually say we've actually had a good year. How strange is that? Because we really have, right? Yeah. I mean, again, like I've I've been blessed that I've of course, you know, my nick well, my nickname or whatever is not stopping. I'm this year's been even crazier, you know, because I have a um a a corporate bit job too. So I've got my corporate job where I sell technology. In healthcare, and then I've got you know fitness stuff going on. We've got movies review going on, um, so it's just like I just feel like every day. I mean, I'm thank God that I've got everything going on that I have, but I don't know where my day goes because <laughs> I'm so busy. <laughs> so, um, but it's all about putting my priorities in order on you know what I what I need to get done and what my goals are, and I'm trying to be better at it. I think I've learned some lessons from last year that I want to apply. For next year if that makes any sense yeah, with my or organization <laughs> so, yeah. i feel the more successful i become the more busy i become but that's again a blessing you know and trixie you said mm -hmm. that you felt strange that this was also a good year for you it really was like everything just mm -hmm. you know with the whole organizing mm -hmm. thing like i was able to organize too and then um well, I started off the year great and motivated and, and I just tackled Super Bowl and Oscars. And and after that, after I put together all the footage and everything, I felt very confident that, you know, it was good. And and it just, the break came through, you know, in March, April. So, no, I think it was April. And then, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I was so exhausted. I kind of wanted the break too. So, you know, but then I kind of was like, okay, I need to start traveling again. I want to go out and go do stuff. Mm. Uh, of course, you know, for, for work and I miss the events and then I didn't think it'd be this long, you know, I thought yeah. it would be, you right. know, uh, it, it be this long. And so now it's like, well, I just can't wait to get back at it. And I have all these new ideas or fresh ideas that have accumulated in this mind because it's been trapped, you know, in quarantine for so long so now it's like 
I'm ready to do it, ready to tackle everything I've always wanted to do. So I think it just motivated me. It motivated me more. <clears throat> so I'm just ready. And if we can do it, we can do it. If we can't, we can't. It'll be next year then. Yeah, I'm with still there, you know. Just I'm with Trixie on the events, and I've done. And as Brian knows, you know, Trixie and I have done a lot of events together. And I, I miss being on the red carpet with Trixie. We always oh. have a blast. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, miss, I, miss, I miss doing. Okay. I, you know, I, I love doing interviews. I love interviewing people on the red carpet, and I like getting dressed up, and I like being at events. And yeah, I, I want, I want those back. You know, it's funny, Trixie, you just said I'm ready for something. And one of the, the meeting that I was just on was a lot of, um, it was part of the meeting was about planning and goal setting for 2021. And we came up with sort of the, instead of saying like, I want this, I want that or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm ready mm -hmm. for whatever it is. And it was just very, it was like an interesting way to put it all together. I'm, I'm, ready for this and I'm excited about this and we've smashed it all together. Also, this is so interesting too. Like you were saying about the beginning of the year, I got off to a kick, kick ass, sorry, <laughs> beginning oh, yeah. of the year of, of <laughs> 2020 also. But this woman reached out to me. She wanted to style me. She wanted to be a stylist for me. And I was like, okay. So I kind of was like dragging my feet a little bit, but like researching <clears> her and she was waiting for payment <laughs> and I drug my feet, drug my feet. I don't know what, and I'm not usually a feet dragger and there you go. Boom. All of a sudden I was like, there was a reason I was dragging my feet because she wasn't going to be able to style me for anything there, you know, like, cause I didn't, there was nothing. I joined the Academy this past year and I thought I was going to be on red carpets and stuff, but it, it was just, you know, it was interesting. It was like, oh, that's why you didn't do it. Yeah. Talk about getting into the academy because the academy has changed a lot of things this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still in. Yay. I, once you qualify, I guess you kind of keep, you're just qualified. Just got to pay your money every year now. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, I mean, I, I haven't done, exciting. I haven't done any acting in a long time. I haven't done any, well, I did a movie two years ago, but I still pay my dues, my SAG dues. Cause I just don't want to lose my membership. <laughs> Mine are always paid in full. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I worked too hard I was to get in, in the union. TV Academy, which is oh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like when you got into that TV Academy? Because everything keeps changing. I'm mm -hmm. glad you're opening up to more. Crystal. Um, the rule. I mean, I was, I was, I qualified under the basic. I mean, the rules that you have to have a certain number of TV credits, and I mm -hmm. had them. So I finally just qualified. Mm -hmm. So it was great. I mean, I think, I don't know what chain, I mean, I don't know what it was like before, but it's just like you had to have, I think mm -hmm. seven recent TV credits and uh, a couple other things. And I finally just, I had them and I qualified. So it was great. Talk about the travel this year. We all like to travel. Um, I have, I haven't gotten out of plane. Well, I haven't gotten out of plane. And you know, I'm on my segue all the time. Uh, so, you, but Crystal, you were traveling a lot, um, but yeah. you were doing all your auditions and everything too, and you were just like knocking them out. I just remember I'd call you in Tennessee, and you're like, "I got an audition. I got to do." And I'm like, yeah. they're coming through that quickly, and and for you, they were coming mm -hmm. through that quickly. I was like amazed by that. Well, every all my other yeah. actors, when they were like dying to have something. And here I hear you were, you were like getting two, three, five a day, no matter what state you were in. And I thought that that was like mind blowing to me. Yeah. Um, I will have my reps here in California and then I have my Southeast agent as well, um, who reps me for there in New York. And um, I have a setup at my place and I travel with my camera and my mic and everything. So mm -hmm. I just always like, if there's not a place that I can audition that I'm not going there, you know, like, period not not happening it's my priority so i i it got to the point where i was in a few places long enough that i just ordered my setup for there and i leave it there so when i go i have a setup and i just um take take my camera with me and that's that gotta be ready if i'm not ready somebody mm -hmm. else is gonna be ready so i gotta be ready <laughs> that's all i mean you know the bottom line well and trixie and that was it was fun to see you when you came up here to vegas because um, um, I, I hadn't been out in a while and it was just strange just to go out because 
it's almost like you start to become a hermit in a while. I can't believe I'm saying that because I like staying home. But after a while, I'm like, I got everything done. We're almost there. I think we're 60 days away from having everything finished, whether it's on the website that Trixie's doing for mm. us or anything. We're like there. I'm like, okay, now yeah, I can it's go It's moving up. now. <laughs> it is moving. It's now I would normally. Now. Go ahead, Crystal. Go ahead. I was just going to say, that's another interesting thing, depending on where you are. I think you were, I think I was gone mm -hmm. when you were talking about Florida, Terry. But it's yeah. like from state to state, things it's are different. so different. I mean, here, everything shut down in Tennessee, everything's open. You wouldn't even know there was a pandemic almost, except for we still, you know, my, my core group, we still acted like it. But it's really interesting, just like North Carolina, mm -hmm. everyone's like out and about, but also... I know so many people that I'm, I don't, not, not to like put up bad news, but like my cousin just died from complications of COVID. And then mm -hmm. today we found out that his sister and mom both ha just tested positive. So it's like, yeah, they're all living, but. It's I weird. Like they all do something together as a, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I guess it is weird because it affects people so differently because I've had certain friends that had it that just had sniffles and the flu. Then I have another friend who has CPO that is having yes. has COPOD and she had has having issues right now because she's 30 days over it, but she's still having issues with her breathing. Yeah. Um, but, but, but the majority of the people that I know, fortunately, have had mild cases. So I don't know too many people. Well, you know, I don't know what complications are going to be later on, but that have gotten it and gotten over it. So I have a coworker right now who found out, well, he's had it for seven days. I just found out that he has it, but he works on the other side of the country. So I don't see him. So fortunately, like for my corporate job, I work at home remote and then I do, you know, everything is, I'm not around, I'm not allowed around a lot of people, but Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, it's it's just it's hard because then uh, last one thing I would say it's also hard because some of the states that are shut down have the worst cases. So, but I don't know but what see, the answer. That, is. See, but what you but what you just said is the key. We're not. Yeah, we're supposed to be shut down, but there are people that are non-believers and they're not, so they're not following rules. So it's like you can say the states that are shut down have the most cases. We also have the most people, right? But also not mm -hmm. everyone is still following the rules. So no matter what, it's like you can't really look at, you can't really look at it like that in a way because it's, it's like if you have a group of like, let's just make it small, 100 people and you give them all like, okay, this, but if only 40 people do it, then then nobody's yeah. might as well be doing it. You know what I mean? Like, because if well, the everyone isn't doing it and following the rule then it doesn't, it's, it's just like not to be well, controversial it's just like gun control right you you say like, like oh all, it's so much violence in this place and they have gun control well yeah guess what you can drive from the next state over into this state so unless not i'm a gun owner so I'm, but i'm just saying like yeah i'm a gun owner too it, so uh, yeah <laughs> it's it's like okay you can you can say like yeah there's all this violence and even though they have gun control but like if you can drive from you know, five minutes away from the next state and get a gun, then. Well, there's all, there's all kinds of, pro there's all kinds of problem with COVID. And there's problems where you've got politicians who aren't following their own rules. So then people are like, you're not following your rules. So I'm not gonna follow your rules because you know, F you, you know, yeah. because you got that. Yeah. Then you've got rules that don't make any sense. I'm sorry, but they just <laughs> like, you could have six people at a table, but if you have eight people at a table, you have COVID. I mean, one people really like, it, like so then you have these rules that are like ridiculous. And then uh, I'll just say one thing that's crazy is that an LAX was a complete S shit show. I'll just say shit show because they have everything blocked off in United Airlines, except Everybody can get, go to one restaurant, get their drink or whatever, and then they all have shuttled over into the terminal. So they're not social distancing. Then you go to other states like Florida or you go to Houston. They have, you know, everybody, they've got the restaurants open in the airport, but their seats are separated. They've got the social distance going on and it's more organized. So the problem is, is that, I, you know, you're all in a closed space. So why are you going to close everything down so everybody's forced in one area? So there's just so many things to me just being logical, like this doesn't make any sense. Go to LAX and then go to Houston. 
and just see how the airport is. That's that's a perfect example of yeah, the sun probably also nice depends it. on it probably also depends on the airline because depending on the terminal, because I fly Delta and uh -huh. that terminal isn't like that. I don't um, go in the United well, terminal though. But United is also not social distancing in the airplane anymore and Delta is. So that it's like, a, it's, but the bottom line is there's no, there was no, there's no consistency from the top. Exactly. Well, the, if there had been yeah. direction from the top, then. Maybe. And, and, that's, and that's why I was glad to see Trixie because I'm like, He's, you know, she came in from Houston to go to Vegas. So much and, fun. and I was like, do I want to go out? But I'm like, I yeah. haven't seen Trixie in a while. But since we're always doing Zoom, it seems like we're seeing each other, but we are not. So I'm like, yeah. okay, I got to go to, because we went to the circuit, the new yeah. hotel. I wanted to see what the guidelines were. Well, I couldn't bring my segue in. So I was kind of pissed about that. <laughs> what? And then they wouldn't let me bring my backpack in. I'm like, you know, I've got to have my mask and my stuff in my bag. It was so, always something. <laughs> and I was like, is, is it, you know, and then they, they're they scanning my license. And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't, who, I don't know who you are, first of all. And then so I had to go back to the plaza where she was staying. By the way, she had a nice room for $17 a night, which wow. was great. It, mm -hmm. this, this is why she came here, just to get away. But it was good to yeah. see my friend. And we had, we had, a, we had a, a great time. But it was like, I'm looking at everybody. I'm like. They're watching the football game on these beautiful screens in a new circuit, which is three levels. And I'm like, this is wonderful. And then they're smoking, putting their mask on, taking a drink, putting their mask on, but sitting next to each other like they're in a movie theater. And I go, so what's the difference? And then me and Trixie were over here. And then Trixie started coughing. And then the guy to the left of her like, move. <laughs> and that was hilarious. And I know you did, I know you did it on purpose, Trixie, because you, you, you made a real, real trick. Yeah, I wanted him to. He was in my way the whole time. I'm like, he's not okay. capable. Like, I was gonna gamble, you know, put some money in the little machine and mm -hmm. just so I could get that spot. And he was just in my way, and so I started coughing. And so that, oh all my god, so he and he moved, he and his move. girl moved. And so, he like, I was he like, gave her a look like, like who is this woman coughing at me? We were horrible. Oh no, I shouldn't That's say that. Awesome. It, it was, a, it was, I so was not horrible, I was good. I thought it was funny I because was, yeah, it was. I so thought he was trying to pick you up. What? Well, I was. I know. I thought he was trying to pick, to pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. His it, was it was. It was fun. But I, but I, I wanted to see the like guidelines, that. and then literally the next day, yeah, the next day I went over. I had someone was interviewing me at um, the Paris Hotel, and I had never been in there. So I just scooted in on my Segway and I'm riding the casino on my Segway. Mm -hmm. Nobody stopped me. I went up to the elevator, rang the thing, went up with someone. Nobody stopped me. So, so different rules? Yes, there wasn't any rules. Yeah, yeah, different rules for, I don't know. It's not. <laughs> That's that's, that's that's what we're talking about. It's it's mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. I, I felt like I was being profiled, me and my black Segway. <laughs> I really did because I couldn't bring it in. And then I didn't help because I was dressed up crazy. I had my leg warmers on and my big hair and everything. So it just looked weird. Hey, Crystal, by the way, she's yeah. a Dallas Cowboys fan. It was fan. fun, though. I, well, I'm a, I'm a Dallas yeah. Cowboys fan, too, though. So I had the there blue hair. I had the blue yeah. and blonde hair. So, yeah. And big furry leggings. That's awesome. So it was fun. If that's Hey, I like to enjoy myself and, you know, just... Have fun, Terry. Terry ha oh, sorry. Oh. That sounds so. That sounds like so much fun. I haven't been to Vegas during the pandemic. Terry, how was the actual flight that you took? Um. Okay. So, I've been. Uh, the, I've been to. Let me see. I went to Houston and I've been to Florida. And then I have a friend that lives up in Grass Valley that I kind of go hide there every once in a while <laughs> up in the mountains. This is like a nice getaway. So I'm gonna say I, I the. I'm most impressed with when I go up to Northern California, I go on Southwest and their social distancing. I think that they're probably the most organized. I think American was horrible. And I think United was horrible because they had everybody kind of packed together. And I, I don't know. I mean, as far as I haven't done Delta, but um, I've flown about, I think I've flown about six times since the pandemic started. I've gone up to Northern California three times and then the Houston and then Florida. I went to, did go to Vegas for the 4th of July because they closed the beaches down here, which made absolutely no sense at all. So um, we went up, 
Yeah, I did. That was dumb because every that was another thing that was crazy. Is with the pandemic, they closed down all the beaches in Redondo and Hermosa, so everybody was just jogging on the other side of the street. So everybody was just clustered all together on this side of the street. So I was like, why don't they just open the strand? Because then if there's more room for people. So that was the stuff in the beginning, like they just did in LA. It was like, oh, wait. and then you could walk, but you couldn't be on a bicycle. And it was just like, and then they closed. It just, it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So the flying is, it's, it's yeah. different on every airline, what you're saying. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Crystal. Yeah. I was going to ask you this. Talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, go, go ahead. Finish your sentence. I was just going to say on, on Delta is definitely in the middle seats and then like mm -hmm. first class half full, um, mm -hmm. same with comfort. Most of my flights, I had a row to myself. Um, the most recent ones, there mm -hmm. was someone in the aisle or the, or the window and I was in comfort and, but, mm -hmm. um, I felt pretty safe. I wore a mask uh, for most of it. I wore a mask and a shield, mm -hmm. but then I've, probably got a little lax lately and just did a mask, but I need to go back to the shield since things are spiking again. Um, yeah. But I felt pretty safe. And, and I know like with Delta anyway, the, the planes are cleaner now than they've ever been. Oh yeah. As far as the area, they are clean. Yeah. That's, that's true. It's crazy. That's true. So I don't, I mean, even with, even with the mess though, I mean, I felt pretty safe because I, I don't, I till the pandemic though, I could never, cause I have asthma. I couldn't, I can breathe even with a mask on with the air filters. You know what I mean? You yeah. can tell the difference. You can totally tell the difference. Yeah. But yeah. I don't I like they the fact. Cleanly the standards. Sorry. Yeah, that. And then they give you the hand sanitizers when you when you get on the plane. So I yeah. I just I'm more upset yeah. about the airport than the air than the airplane the yeah. terminal. Agreed. But because I don't think it's so stupid. You're already inside anyway. Why are you closing off the restaurants and stuff and have one restaurant open? And it just, it's well, just a mess. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that you might not have thought of. A lot of those mm -hmm. restaurants were like having positive cases. They can't have like someone comes to work, they're positive, then they're fixing food. Because so like a lot of those restaurants, mm -hmm. if they had one positive case, then they have to shut down the whole thing for 14 days. I mean, and they are mm -hmm. they already don't have like the inside the LAX I'm talking employees like in an outside place. Yeah, yeah like inside LAX or any restaurant like. Any restaurant right now. I remember when I was in Atlanta for part mm -hmm. of the time, I would go to the same Starbucks like every day, and all of a sudden I went and it was closed, and when I and it was just closed, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's closed. But finally, it went by one day, and they're like, yeah, we had a positive mm -hmm. case, like one positive case, and it's like done. So I, I bet you that's part of how a lot of those restaurants got shut down. And on top of that, not as many people were flying, and it's like, well, why are we paying these people to come to work, and there's nobody coming through the airport? That might be true, but I do know that there was re one restaurant that we went to um, that was open, and the, it was one restaurant that had a bar because we wanted to get a glass of wine before we got on the plane because you can't get a glass of wine on the plane anymore. And we were going on right. we were going to Houston; it's a long flight. So anyway, they had all the seating in the bar closed, but the bar was open, so it, you could sit anywhere in the airport but at the bar. So that to me made no sense because that was just extra seating that they can't have. Oh, they could have opened. So that actually. Was oh. the restaurant was open, but oh, the yeah, seats in weird. the restaurant were closed. Yeah, it was weird. It that was like what, and it was we're like you can sit anywhere you can sit in the terminal, sense. but you can't sit at the. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. So that's the kind of thing that I look oh, at. Yeah, is like I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so I it had nothing to do with the restaurant being closed. I mean, there was restaurants. There was a lot of the re only restaurant that was open. The, but there you was just no, you couldn't sit, sit there. Yeah. <laughs> see, so, yeah. so for Crystal's thing, Chris, the reason Crystal's got to be careful mm -hmm. because you were still going to the studios and then, so you guys got your testing all the time, don't you? Oh yeah. I would, yeah. When I knew I was going to work though, I didn't fly at all for mm -hmm. like a week or two leading up to that. And plus we were getting tested every 36 hours. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I had like four tests in seven days, I think right before I shot mm -hmm. um, this last thing and same thing with the rookie. So they, I mean, they're, and they still, even with all that though, they still had a, positive case here and there, you know, because that's the problem. It's like you get tested today, you're negative. Tomorrow, you might be positive. What's that like for you, you know, who is going and, 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 on, and on all these auditions in the back of your mind? Because you, when I talked to you, you were going over to Fox and you were, had to go through whatever. All the auditions were virtual. I think I might have had two in-person auditions the whole pandemic. Everything I was doing was either vir live virtual like this or self-tapes. Mm. 
So the only time I was going on the lot is when I actually booked to work. Are they doing all the the um, swab tests up the nose for you? Or are they doing any? Because I know that there's two different kind of tests. And how is that? Because I've never had a COVID test because I haven't had any problems. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. They've all been different. Um, mm -hmm. I had the really back behind the throat one that makes you like want to sneeze, um, mm -hmm. nose, mouth, and um, for for the rookie they did like all three different ones, mm -hmm. and then for wow. uh, the splash show they did um, mouth, but every, every swab hour up every thirty six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. So mm -hmm. that's why the oh, one of them was the weirdest one. The weirdest one was. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> the the one one was where they stuck it. Oh, oh, the weirdest one is where they stuck it on both sides of your throat, and then the same swab in your nose. Wow! That, I mean, I, at least it wasn't opposite, but it was weird still. You know? No, that it just makes so that person gross. That's, gross. <laughs> that's gross. That's that's that's. Uh, that's strange. I didn't hear that one. That, that is yeah. that, that's weird. Wow. From mouth to I made nose. a video not while they were doing it, but afterwards. <laughs> wow. So here's the thing. So Terry, this time last year and the year before, we would be mm -hmm. at the Golden Globes, GPA Kissing Suite or something like that. I, know. I hate when those things comes up and those reminders. I'm like, wow, that was only a year ago. Oh wow, it's only two years ago. And here we are. I don't see it, gifting suites coming back. Brian would always but I invite me, and I could never go. I'm so sad. They were so much fun. I always had. That's what I was saying earlier. Me and Trixie just always had a blast, you know. Was, yeah. Because we would do our interviews, and then me and Trixie like, let's go around and like talk to the vendors, and then we would like, you know, do our little interviews together and stuff. And I, I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. I I miss getting dressed up to go to events, so I just really do. Yeah. So. That's why New Year's was kind of fun going to Florida because I got to get I dressed up for New Year's. <laughs> Go on. Go on, Crystal. I was just gonna say I have at least three. I have at least three nice dresses that still have the tags. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and anticipation and yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Hopefully, I'll still be able to fit them. No, I will be. I've been working out. I've been working out. Uh -huh. Well, what's the what's your fitness routine been, uh, Crystal? Man, I think I've been working out more during the pandemic than ever. Uh, but mostly, but I do you know just inside. Well, not just inside. I've been I've been fortunate enough to have a virtual trainer the whole pandemic. So thank you for that. Um, yeah. And he's you know weight training and everything. But I've also been trying to like skate and do you know other stuff. And one of my 2021 like not goals but like things is to add more of that, more skating again, more jump roping, a little more cardio along with continuing mm -hmm. to work with him with the mm -hmm. weights. Um, so I've been, I've been going at it three to four times a week, uh, the whole, you know, pretty much the whole pandemic, a few lulls, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty impressed with, I'm, I'm pretty proud, of, not impressed, proud of myself <laughs> that I kept it going. Not easy, Terry, is it? No, I mean, well, I'm still working on it every day. <laughs> so, I mean, my problem is not every working day. out. Wow. I work out every day. My problem is my diet because I get lazy on it. So, but I am made my New Year's resolution that I'm because I'm I do fitness shows. So I'm gonna I was gonna do a show this year and then it was just like I don't know shows were getting canceled. I didn't really want to wear a mask because when you do bikini fitness, it's all about makeup and hair. And I was like, I don't want to get on stage with that mask on because it just takes away from the whole experience. But I told myself I'm going to do it this year, whether I have to wear a mask or not, because I, I need to have motivate myself. So, but meal prep is, I don't know. I don't like, I like to be able, I, I I'm lucky because I can stay skinny, but I lose muscle if I don't eat enough protein. So I got to make sure I'm eating enough protein every day. So that's, me, I'm going to be that. Meanwhile, Trixie and I will remain behind the scenes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Absolutely. I have like, I, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting my booze and I'm, I'm eating my protein and I'm on a mission. So we'll see. Well, no, I will see. I'm hired. I've hired my old trainer. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. My guy yeah, my told old, me about the protein. Um, yep. The older you get, the more protein you need. And people don't really realize that because it's harder to build muscle. The older you get, you got to eat more protein. Um, and you know everybody's bodies. Everybody's body's different. That's so it's kind of like a science project when you do. 
fitness competitions because you have to have you know your macros right and you, and if you screw up your macros you're not going to get the results that you want and people don't realize that it's an 80 percent diet you like have great workouts but if your diet sucks you're not going to reach your goals that's in it and now people want to hear it but it's the truth <laughs> unfortunately damn. i know yeah. we got a couple, tonight. damn it <laughs> we got a couple of minutes left so terry give your yeah. goals that you want for the next 90 days what do you want to happen and inspiration oh for other people oh my goal okay um i'm gonna do um a 90 day prep so my biggest goal is in 90 day to step on stage again and hopefully win um Growing my social media, growing my TikTok, get get more some more funny videos out there. Um, let me see what else. That's kind of like the the short term for ninety days is the fitness stuff and and uh, getting some really because I'm doing comedy now. Get some really funny comedy out there. Oh, and then do my um, do some social media on my journey back to getting up on the stage and what I go through and all that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next ninety days. Trixie? Next 90 days. Uh, next 90 days, I'm going to start my sports show and I'll be able to announce more about it. It will be on Amazon Prime Video and I'm very excited for it. And uh, Yay. I'm, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a sweet thing and um, it's very rewarding and it's a sports show and the name will come out very soon. And I'm just trying to do everything at that next level like they're expecting me to. So you're going to see that official trailer and everything pop out and it's going to be televised, commercial, everything. It's going to be really nice. So I just can't wait to do that. So this has been a thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time. That's amazing. Congratulations. And, I, and I'm so happy for you. So Terry has done one or two good things in her life with me. So she actually did introduce to me to Trixie, uh, which is a good thing. So that's one thing. I'm sure I'll come up with another I've done thing. more than two things. <laughs> Five so, years I'm, I'm working with you. I did two things, right? Just kidding. <laughs> You're getting there. Okay. And Crystal, what are you grateful <laughs> for and what's your inspiration? What's what what kind of hope do you give to those new up and coming actors and actresses that don't know how to maneuver through these days? Train. People think they can just come out here and if they're pretty or whatever, they just and it can happen. But to me, <clears throat> bottom line is just get getting class immediately. Train, train, train. It's the most important thing because you know, you could be cute or you could be funny or whatever, but if you don't know the basics and if you don't continue growing and learning, you know, something in your craft, like, you know, every day if possible, then it's not going to be a sustainable career, you know? Um, so that would be, and just to never give up. Doesn't matter how old you get. Doesn't matter whatever. If you're like focused and train and, and keep at it, you're going to get your chance if you believe in you know, just you can't give up. You just gotta keep going. And what are you grateful for? Oh. oh, oh man, I'm grateful for my family. I just posted this on on New Year's Day. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for um, my my like actors group community. We've all been pouring into each other and like uplifting each other. I think I've grown so much as an actress from them. Like forget my <clears throat> teachers, which I've also had, but just the community of people that are sort of on the same level. Um, grateful for um, FaceTime and, and, and Zoom and all of these mediums. So I've gotten to see my family, <laughs> my family like gotten to see their face, even though I couldn't touch them. And I'm just grateful for, yeah, for, for, for life and this time to just like focus and slow, oh, and slow down and smell mm -hmm. the roses and check on people. You know, I realized at some point that I was just, as you know, Brian, always mm -hmm. going, always going. And this has given me time, even though I'm still been busy, but just to still slow down a little bit and focus. Give you social media links real quick. Who me? Oh, go. Crystal. Hey. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. Crystal, Crystal Cone <laughs> on, on Instagram. Crystal Coney underscore Twitter, Crystal Coney. I'm at just Crystal Coney. I'm easy to find. Nothing special. Oh, Coney like Coney Island. www.customtrends.tv. Terry. And my website is terrymarieofficial.com. Um, and then on all platforms, Instagram, Facebook, 
uh, Twitter and TikTok, uh, nonstop Terry Marie. And I want to thank everybody. Crystal, believe it or not, or really thank you for coming on because I know how big is busy your schedule is. Terry, I'm glad you're back from Florida safely because yep. I was thinking about you. And Trixie, you're saving my life. <laughs> what all the, what all the stuff Yay, that you're doing. She's so, she's so talented with all the stuff they're doing. I just want everybody to shine in their own way. So with that, I'm going to leave everybody. This is Brian Sebastian, Movie Reviews and More on K4HD, uh, Talk mm -hmm. for Year Around the World. And if you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours because the world needs it. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Bye.